Welcome to Picture Healer channel. In this video, we have tips about setting up Feng Shui for short-term residence or when you are traveling. This can be a hotel room that you only stay for a couple of days, or it may be an Airbnb or just a summer house. If we can pay a little bit extra attention planning your feng shui, even if it's just for a temporary residence, our stay can become safer and more enjoyable. Here are some simple tips you can implement easily. The first one is to clean the space when you first arrive. If it's a hotel room, it might be cleaned already, but you can always double check and see any areas that can use some extra cleaning. This way you will have a fresh start. And not just only the physical cleaning, you can also spray some essential oil made from plant extract or light up some candles to refresh the room. Some choices of scent include citrus, sandalwood, lavender, or more medicinal such as eucalyptus or sage. Some can even repel bugs or mosquitoes. The second tip is to wear protection such as jade, crystal, or any religious beads. If you are traveling, it's easier to wear some protection with you rather than display the item at home. So things like a natural jade bracelet, a necklace, crystal keychain will give you that peace of mind and keep good energy with you. The third tip is to check the window. Look out the window and see the view. Is there anything beneficial? Maybe you can open the window and let the fresh air in. And if the view is not positive, you might want to keep the curtain closed to block the unwanted view. If you have to stay more than one or two days, you can also add a mirror, set the mirror so it's reflecting the image outside the window. If that's the Sha Qi you don't want. The next one is to check the lighting. And hopefully you have window with good view in the place and you can let the sun shine in in the daytime. And if you have to work in the space, make sure you have enough artificial lighting, either from the ceiling or the desk. If there's not enough lighting, you might want to consider adding your own. It's not only good for the eyes, it will be good for your spirit. A dark, dingy space over time can bring us depression. And just having extra light is an easy fix, but we often ignore it. The fifth tip is to keep everything organized. It is harder to keep everything organized when you are in a new space and probably a smaller space than your own house. So it's important to keep everything organized so it doesn't get out of control. And usually there will be food items and your clothes and laundry and also your device or all kinds of electronic items. If you are the person who likes to spread out everything, you will find yourself in chaos after a few days. And it doesn't have to be super organized. Just keep similar items in one area. It's an everyday habit that can make a big difference. The number six tip is to create a sacred corner in your new space. Many people like to bring the Bible with them and place it in the bedside table. And with the same idea, you can use any religious scripture or image of a religious God. This serves as a protection. It can give you peace of mind and uh, extra comfort knowing that you are safe and protected. Or you can just put down a crystal or jade accessories or an amulet near the bed so you can sleep well. Next, we want to talk about enhancers. To enhance your love relationship and the general happiness, 
you can check your animal sign. And there are four different groups. We find the best direction of your animal sign to enhance your love by placing some flowers or light up a candle or incense in that direction. If you are a goat, rabbit, or a pig animal sign, your lucky relationship direction is a north. And if you are an ox, snake, or rooster, your lucky relationship direction is south. And if you are a rat, a dragon, or a monkey, your lucky love direction is the west. And if you are a tiger, horse, or dog, your love relationship enhancing direction is the east. So find your direction and place something beautiful there. Flowers, crystals, incense, or candles for a short period of time. And if you are more focusing on your career and you are looking for a mentor or helpful people, the Gui Ren Luck, sometimes we call it the noble man luck, you can enhance the direction of the flying star number six. And in 2022, the number six flying star is in the northwest. And 2023, the number six will be northeast. So you can display any symbol of success or people you like to meet or people you admire in northwest in 2022 or northeast in 2023. Or you can be a vision board. You can cut out some pictures of your dreams and set it in this corner. Then this can enhance your great luck and bring in helpful people to help you advance your career. The number nine is all the extra feng shui symbols you can bring. It can be an image, a picture, a keychain, a little accessory, part of your bracelet or necklace. And this can be a long list. Here are some popular ones you can bring. The first one is Hulu or the Chinese gourd. It's a symbol of good health and it's supposed to absorb negative energy. And you can also bring happy Buddha or any type of Buddha. And again, Buddha is a great symbol for protection. And there are many other feng shui animals you can bring, such as Qilin, Pisho, Dragon, Dragon Turtle. A very popular one is the Pisho because it protects you from evil energy and it also is a symbol of good fortune and the wealth luck. And this is also my favorite. And you can find Pichu bracelet with natural jade or natural crystals or even just made of metal. It should act as your pet and bring you protection and money luck. And the last one, the number 10, is very simple. We just need to keep a good attitude. A lot of us are afraid to make decisions and then end up not doing anything just because you are afraid of making mistakes. But everybody makes mistakes. That's just the way we grow. So if you have any dreams, any ambition, please go for it. Create your plan and follow through. If it doesn't work, you can change your plan and try a different way. So focus on the future and your dreams instead of the past that you cannot change. As long as you are in the right direction, you will get to your destination one day. So that's the 10 simple tips for feng shui when you are on the go. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you next week.